hey, hey, guys. <laughs> it's not hey, hey, guys. <laughs> hey, really quick, what was um, what was your favorite product of the year? My favorite product of the year? Yeah. Uh, my pit boss grill. No, like to be beautified. Of course, he says his smoker. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> um, your mirror, your Ilias mirror. My, oh, really? Why? Because I've used it. You're just trying to do a friendly promo for me or what? You no. can you can see your soul in this thing. It's so magnified. Ah. Well, I like it a lot. It's a fantastic product. I also do Zoom calls with it. So I yeah, actually, I yeah, I actually have footage of that. Right. Love you. Bye. Bye bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year from me and James. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna hop right on in and talk about the very best top shelf, must have, you will feel gorgeous items of 2022. I have so many of them. It was hard to narrow down, which was kind of shocking because I don't full glam anymore every day and I don't film, you know, five videos a week anymore. I'm not constantly in this like dig, dig, review, review, but something different happened over the past year. I do wanna say where I was more consistently anchored into certain products. So a lot of these are not just, oh, I used it, you know, for like a month or two and I loved it. These are like the everyday discoveries that now I don't want to be without. A lot of these items I'm actually wearing today, these have just become the standard, the expectation of product performance is right here with these products. If I try something new and it doesn't knock my socks off and it can't replace the goodness of these items, then I just really don't have interest. So I have become consistently obsessed with this iconic underglow blurring primer. At first I put it on and I was like, whew, we are in a rose garden. I don't know about the perfume situation in here. It does fade off pretty quickly. So you're not like wandering around every day being like, oh, my head or, oh, I'm just lost in this rose garden. Um, it does go away, but there is a fragrance in here. I'm not loving that part of it. And when you first put it on, you're like, great, well, this did nothing, but there's something about how this helps your foundation to go on really smooth and be blurred and hydrated. It's just this beautiful all-in-one gorgeous primer. And of course, I've been using this with, you guessed it, my Tarte smoothing primer that I just literally go right here right here and that's it. I don't, I mean, I use that primer all of the time for years and years and years. Fine, I'll show you. We know what it looks like, but if you guys know of a smoothing primer that is thick like this, that is better somehow, let me know because I'm a little bit bored of this one, but it's not that it doesn't work. It's just, gosh, can I talk about this some more? You know what I'm saying? But I can't find another primer that works the way that this one does. Literally, if you're in Sephora, swatch it on the back of your hand and then compare your hand one to the next, it fills in all of those little lines. So you'll be able to see just like an immediate, like what does this one do? It just softens the look. It creates this smooth surface. So if you imagine that it's filling in all those teeny tiny lines, it does that on your face with your pores. And when you combine just going in this area right here with a gorgeous overall primer, like what I just shared from Iconic, oh my gosh, yes. Like we're in a good skin day. All right, so I wanna share uh, my favorite discovery for foundation over the past year has absolutely gotta be the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation from Hourglass. I am wearing it today. This Hourglass Foundation is phenomenal. It is something that you wanna try if you have combo skin that is maybe like just a little more mature. I hate that word when describing like who this foundation is good for, but honestly, if you have any texture on your skin, if you have fine lines, if you're dealing with, you know, not wanting foundation to settle in the forehead lines, this is a formula that just diffuses the look of fine lines, is super even, is not cakey or heavy. And I have just been so impressed with this. And I've tried quite a few new foundations over the past year. This is the one that really stands out for me. Now for a touch up powder that is softening and not crunchy, bunchy, drying, mattifying, that is more of a soft glow, like a candlelit filter almost. The Chantikai little powder right here, what are you called? Literally candlelight, HD Perfecting Loose Powder. Oh my goodness. If you have crunchy, bunchy, over mattified, over powdered your face, 
and you want to take that look down, this is the right powder for you. It is so beautiful. Just a hint of it comes through the brush. It's great to keep in the purse. It is one of my favorite more high-end luxury items that I have, and I have been using this, no exaggeration, like almost every day, and I don't understand how I have not gone through more powder because it's like I can see it on my hand coming through the brush like it just softens things and you can actually like see the powder when you're doing this business it's like a never-ending gobstopper I don't understand how I still have so much in the actual um component there but I do so if you're wondering like oh it's so expensive I'll go through it so quickly no you will not you use such a small amount that it seems to last forever all right so something that my sisters constantly ask me about they're like What's your favorite concealer? What are you using? Have you found anything that is better than Shape Tape? That one is too heavy for me, but I wanna really cover up those dark circles. Um, I'm gonna share Sabrina, this is for you. She is a new mom once again. I haven't shared that on my channel yet, but I'm a, an auntie again, and I'm so excited about it, but we're keeping family photos and all of that very private. But she was like, I need full coverage sleepless nights. I need something that blends really quickly. So this has been really my most reached for. And when I look at like makeup worn, I sometimes take notes, like even when I'm not filming of like, what did I wear that day? Or what did I do? Whenever I go back through and I'm like looking on Instagram or I'm looking at photos and I'm like, dang, my makeup was really good that day. What was going on? I'm more often than not wearing this concealer. And so I then was like, here's an idea. <laughs> wear it more often because it seems to work and not crease and look great. It even looks good. Like, you know, this is a bonus. Like if your concealer looks good in a public restroom, ugh, that is the dream, right? The fluorescent lighting, the overhead lighting, you can see all those wrinkles and crinkles. This one just smooths you out. It is not thick. It's a very thin consistency. I really love this shade Ballet. It has kind of a peachy tone to it, which for me really diffuses any of that darkness under the eye. And I highly recommend this one if you've not checked it out. All right, as far as a brush that is something really different and unique, you know, I'm not gonna end a year just be like, hey, here's a powder brush, like super cool. Like we, we all have one. I don't know that you all have this. This is like the most genius brush ever. This is the Letitia Lamac FF4. And what I love about this one is the diamond shape. You can see how it goes up and there's a point. You can get right in here here do we see this shape and you can set your concealer and then that point kind of goes around the nose too it's great for brightening up the side of the nose if you're doing a nose contour but the way that this just is so soft and whisks powder on I'm in love with it. If you're a makeup obsessor like me and you like those perfection detail tools, this is one you definitely should check out. It's honestly so good. This is from Sigma. I have to share with you guys the ingredients in here are really pretty clean. There are a couple of like questionable ingredients. If you're using like a scanner app and it's like, you're gonna die, like look, look at this. And we all know I've been exploring that path. Am I fully committed? about 80%, 80% there maybe, but I really do look for powders that don't have fragrance in them. This Sigma powder is pretty amazing. I'm wearing it today. Again, you can bake with it, but it has a texture that you can just use it as like a light finishing powder, or it will give you some coverage if you still are into the baking thing. I sometimes am. My skin responds to that really beautifully as far as holding the makeup for a long period of time. It just gives you this softened, locked in, natural, glowy, but not shiny, just like your skin just looks like velvet finish. It's so good. Matte Velvet Skin. What a gorgeous name for a mattifying powder foundation. You kind of understand everything you need to. You're like, it's matte, but it's not dry. It's gonna be velvet. And this is one of the most beautifully formulated powders out there. 
I use a darker shade Y455 specifically for bronzing and contouring. I literally even put this around my mouth for contouring the mouth. Like I will use this on the nose. I love this formula so, so much. It is so beautiful. This is my second one. I rarely hit pan. It's just an everyday must have. I got so intense talking about that. So like my throat is drying up. I'm like, it's a must. It is a must have. You know what else is a favorite? This freaking Yerba Mate. If I could be sponsored by Yerba Mate, I would. I drink that stuff all the time, I'm out. Amazing, incredible, beautiful foundation and powder duo. How genius to have both of them in one compact. You guys know I'm a big fan of Patrick Ta. Um, this one I got in October. I've started labeling my products. It's a good plan. Uh, it will help me to not keep things on hand forever and ever, and also will help me to be accountable when I'm like, I've been using this for this many months. It is such a beautiful foundation. It covers gorgeously. It's pretty intense full coverage, and the powder is really, really silky and thin and gorgeous too. We have some blush from Honey Bee Gardens. I bought this in Florida. This is in the shade Rendezvous. And I was so impressed. I got some of their shadows too, but this blush is so smooth and the pink tone is just perfection. It lasts on the skin a really long time. It does not clog my pores whatsoever. I bought this at like a random health food store in Florida back in the summertime. It's made in Canada. I think this is a really cute line and no one talks about it. I recently picked this one up and I just have to share this with you. I know it is like a year end favorite, but this is gonna be my replacement for Totally Toffee. You guys know from Maybelline, you're like, please find anything else. We are so sick of that lip liner. Well, I found a new lip liner that is so creamy, dreamy, long wearing, the perfect tone. It is so fabulous. Oh my gosh, I cannot even explain to you how this makes overlining just like a dream. It is the best, richest, creamiest color. Go online and track this down. It is worth it. It is Honey Bee Gardens in Island Spice. Yo, this is what I'm wearing today. If you're into kind of that 90s lip, it does not disappoint. Speaking of lip, ah! I may have just ruined um, the white carpet. I mean, it's fine. It's great. It's cool. I don't think it really did anything. <laughs> Lip gloss. Let's chat about it. I have the Patrick Ta Superficial Buyer Be Warned. I'm going to put it on right now. Just like, mm, I'm living carefree at the moment. Let's just do a little. This is the most beautiful gloss I've ever owned. Oh my gosh, everything about it, the scent, the texture, the feeling, just all of it is so good. But if you fall in love with this and you start wearing it every day of the week, like I did, it will dry your lips out. They will chap up. It will be an issue. So I definitely take precaution when using this. It is a very potent lip plumper. Oof. Like I'm feeling it. I am, I'm feeling it. As I'm sitting here, I'm feeling things. It's minty and cinnamony at the same time. It's kind of like icy hot, but on your mouth. Oh my gosh. If you go to my Sephora haul from a couple months ago, you will see that I literally look like I have the most ginormo lips ever. And I've stopped doing filler. And I think there's a workaround when you use a product like this. A really gorgeous, non-plumping, but saturated in color, not too thick, not too bunchy, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous lip gloss is Sweet Tooth from Gwen Stefani. You guys, ridiculously good. I have been reaching for this so much consistently over the past, uh, this is a tail end. This is like a month-ish, month and a half, maybe two months, but I really, really love it. And I also wanna share that I super love Gwen Stefani's I see in sparkle multi-dimensional eye pigment. This is a dream come true for me because it doesn't irritate the crap out of my eyes. Oh my gosh, for a minute, whenever I was putting on shiny eyeshadow, my eyes would be like, ah, and like pain. And this is a really simple mineral formula and it has not, not once irritated my eyes where I feel like I'm like gonna, I'm wearing it today. And I just think it gives the nicest glow ever to the lid. 
It's really sophisticated, but it's there. Like, and you can amp it up if you want to use a wet brush with it. It will get even more sparkly and intense. And I just think it's a great loose shadow. I have a mascara that I am going to repurchase. You guys know I'm being very good about keeping my three month promise to myself of not using mascaras that have expired. And that is so difficult for me because I'm always trying new things. And then I feel like it's a waste. I'm like three months, my goodness. But I had a pretty... Uh, um, I had a pretty big issue with my eye. It is still intermittently recovering, which is so crazy. Like I went to the eye doctor, they looked under the lid, they did the whole thing, they took photos and it's just gonna be like, it's gonna take time to heal. But in that process, I am being very careful with what I put on my eyes, especially with mascara and liner. So I just wanna give a huge shout out to Fit Glow Beauty, it's October is when I purchased this one, so I'm gonna need to order more. But you guys, as far as a mascara that does not have fragrance and you know potentially icky preservatives, it has no phenoxyethanol, it has no carbon black, it doesn't flake, irritate, smear, and it shows up. You can really build this one up. So I highly recommend that you guys check this out if you're looking for just a good mascara in general, but if you're someone that has more sensitive eyes and you've been looking for a cleaner formula, this is a good one. One. The liner that I'm wearing today is also from Fit Glow Beauty. This is just in black and it is so creamy, so easy to blend. It does not smear everywhere. It is really rich and intense. You have your pencil on one side, you have a liner brush on the other, which is really convenient because you can very easily, if you can see my hand here, do we see how you can just get this nice line right here? So if you're doing the liner, and then you wanna kind of drag it out just a tiny bit, kind of how I have today, just like just a little bit. You can do that with the brush so easily and this wears really well. I've worn it in my waterline and it does not smudge budge. Another really great one for the waterline is from Cali Ray. This is the Surf Proof Easy Glider Eye Definer in Secret Spot. And this is in my lower waterline, really like super creamy. Super, super, super creamy. I love this. Those have been kind of the rotation of like favorite eyeliners right now. And then we also have, I couldn't not mention these. I'm obsessed. Do I have a better word than that? I don't think I do. But these Rowan eyeshadow palettes, I have 75 degrees and 52 degrees. Is that the name of them? Um, They're so good. Yo, this is legitimately like a find. You don't even need a brush to put this stuff on. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it's the dumbest thing. Well, not dumbest. It's, yeah, actually it's dumb. It's so good, it's dumb. This is the kind of shadow that will work for more mature eyelids. You don't have to tug. You do not have to worry about it being thick. You know how sometimes liquid shadows will kind of dry down and they almost exaggerate the fine lines on the lid? This, you just pat, pat, pat on. And if it gets in the crease a little bit, you can literally just go like this. It is like a two minute perfect eye situation. I have been so thrilled with these because I don't do full glam every day, but I like to feel pulled together. So if I'm just like running errands, I just wanna throw on a brow and some mascara and maybe like a little bit of shadow to feel more pulled together, I'll do this out the door. Flattering colors, flattering finish, it's so good. I got a little too excited for that one. Um, okay, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not gonna stay here long and show all the ins and outs of Medicube, but I will link below my Medicube videos. You guys, those devices changed my skin this past year. It just happened. I use them consistently. I keep them down here. These will significantly improve your skin without having to go to a medical spa or do facials. I've seen wild changes like firmness, texture, um, just increase in collagen. I feel like it immediately tightens the skin depending on which tool you're using. These devices are legit the real deal. So I love them so much. I had to give them a shout out. And then as far as cream goes, the triple deep erasing cream is just my favorite from them. If my skin's a little more dehydrated, if I need a little bit more, because I do still like the strength trainer, let's just talk about all of my holy grail items for the past year. Strength trainer, the banana bright eye cream from Oola, 
you guys always ask, you're like, do you still use that? And I'm like, um, James and I pretty much fight over it. Like we still use it like completely. I am obsessed. Love it. Um, the collagen cream I use at night specifically. I will use it sometimes during the day if I want a more dewy finish, but usually just at night. And then this one I had to show you guys like on my channel. This was so overlooked. I don't know what happened. When I was first trying out their products, I got a big box of skincare, kind of like try it, see what you like. And I just looked at this and for some reason I was like wrapping cream well that just doesn't make sense like I didn't understand what it was I was like is this just a serum or what is this this is something that you use as like a last step over whatever um your skincare situation is it has like a thicker almost glue like consistency you put this over your whole face like after you've piled on your moisturizer it's going to kind of seal everything in and then you wake up in the morning and it kind of like peels off. And I don't know what they did with this, but your skin is like a baby's bottom. It's so smooth. Whether you peel it off or rinse it off, this product seals that moisturizer in and then further moisturizes your skin. So if you have dry skin, oh my gosh, like try it and tell me how you feel about it. It is so, so good. Again, this is not sponsored. I don't have a code right now, but... I just wanted to point out that those were my favorites. I know there's a lot here, but let's just let's just continue. I am going to be ordering another one of these. I'm about here. I love that it's in a glass bottle. It comes in a pump. This is the Calm Cleanser. I love the color of it too. Like it's just soothing to look at. The scent is gorgeous and light. It removes makeup like a dream. Your skin feels softened. And I like everything about this. A to Z. I like it all. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to be ordering more Bella Skin Beauty deodorant spray. It's technically a pre-deodorant, probiotic pre-deodorant spray. But honestly, I would just use that as my deodorant. And it was fine. It was great, actually. I was never sent anything from this brand. This is a smaller brand that I hunted down on my own, and I'm so happy that I did because their products are really, really beautiful. I'm also gonna be repurchasing their cleanser, which is more of a makeup removing kind of gel to oil cleanser that also comes in a glass bottle. Really gorgeous line. Wanted to give them a shout out. I love to kind of put spotlight attention on more indie brands, especially when the products perform so well. So this, we are, we are below the halfway mark. This is the only facial oil that I have been consistently using over the past year. Now this is with, I wanna say Bacogenol or Babchi. Do I even know what I'm talking about? Olive squalene, whatever you are, it's a vitamin A silk um, oil that will help to exfoliate the skin. I only use this at night and I will use this kind of as a last step. I wouldn't use these two on the same night. I use this one a few nights a week, but it is a beautiful oil. I'll take it down the neck. It doesn't have like a perfume scent or like just like a vanilla scent, but it definitely has like the ingredients create this particular warm type of a smell and it's so intense to trigger me to when we first moved to texas and we stayed in an airbnb and it just brings me right back to that time it's like this nice hug of this past year so the scent of this the ritual of it how it softens my skin it really packs a punch. It will help to resurface and super hydrate because hello, it is an oil pretty quickly. And I'm just such a giant fan. Bella Skin Beauty, check them out. Tubes & Co. Organics. Um, James calls it toupee. Uh, it's my toupee cream. It's my tallow cream. This is literally made in the US by hand, small batches, gluten, GMO, paraben, preservative, sulfate, and fragrance-free. I use this on the body. I use this literally cuticles, feet, face. I use this everywhere. It is so rich. It feels kind of like a whipped butter and the feeling of it lingers. So it does not just put it on and go away. Like I put this on at night and I feel like I wake up with such soft skin. It is so gorgeous. I just love it and I feel good about what it's doing for my skin. There's nothing toxic in here. It gives the skin like this nice silky sheen and I've been loving so much from the tubes line. So 
thought I would share. Okay, and then let's talk about James's favorite. It's like sitting back here and I, it's the one thing in this video that I do have a code for. Use Tati, Tati, I don't know my own code. <laughs> It'll be in the description box below, but I have been using this now for a year. I use this whenever I film anything for IG, whether it's me working out or me filming like something in the kitchen. It has this really cool thing right here where on the back, you have this little guy right here. You pop her in, you put your phone here, you turn the light on. It has so many different settings and you get a beautiful ring light effect. <laughs> James does in fact use this for his Zoom calls. That is not a lie. Um, and then you have the mirror itself that pops in here and you have a magnified mirror on one side that is so clear because the quality of a mirror is really important in my opinion. The other side is just your normal everyday mirror. And I take my makeup off with this. I pluck my eyebrows with it. I film with it. It is so incredibly well made. So if you are looking for a good quality mirror, it is absolutely my my super favorite. And I have gone through, oh my gosh, I mean, what, not Vanity Planet. I've gone through like all of those light up mirrors, like even ones that I bought at like Best Buy. I wanna say I have one that's like home source or something you guys always ask. It like has a Bluetooth plug-in and plays my music or whatever. But the mirror quality itself is just not anywhere near to the quality of this mirror. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Actually, I'm gonna end with one more thing because I was having the best conversation ever with my sisters about their favorites. So I wanna share really quickly, I asked Erica, Sabrina, Larissa, and my mom what their number one favorite beauty item from 2022 was. Larissa, my older sister, says that she loves the Laneige water sleeping mask. That is her favorite. Then Erica chimed in and said, yes. And their lip mask is amazing, which it is. Those are both so good. And then my mom had the most random recommendation. I haven't even heard of this brand. It's called Pear Bell Skin Tone Adjusting CC Cream with SPF 43, which seems like an interesting SPF number. Maybe that's just me. Um, but she says, okay, all of you, this is my don't leave home without it old lady coverage. It is amazing. I have no idea what that, like old lady mom, you're not old lady, um, but old lady coverage. Interesting. So mom likes Per Bell. Erica literally just said vitamin C serum in general, which I think is hilarious. And then Sabrina chimed in and said that she loves her pixie tonic still and the Caudalie Gentle Foaming Cleanser. So a lot of skincare there. That's kind of the vibe. Everyone's into taking care of their skin these days. Um, I am still into lashes and makeup and gloss, but definitely over the past year, I did try more skincare than ever before. So that did shift quite a bit. All right, you guys, I love you all so much. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.